Hi lovelies, welcome to my YouTube channel. Mm. On today's episode of mm. our weekly recipe, I'll be showing you how to make the proper data banga soup that will make your uppy give you all the money in his back account using just the native banga fruits. I know some of us tend to miss the native and the agreed banga fruits while we make our banga soup, but it will be proving that native banga fruits gives you the best banga soup ever so on this episode i'll be showing you how to properly season your protein how to make the native banga fruits to get the proper juice out of it the ingredients we'll be using are some lady fish habanero pepper some karate i'm also using some leftover chicken for this recipe but be rest assured that whatever protein you have is totally fine okay i'm using some dry prawns as well of course lots and lots of crayfish powder crayfish powder is very good for your banga so please don't be deceived i'm using some cameroon pepper as well of course periwinkle have to be there <laughs> for the plenty of rishi rishi and ostaco periwinkle have to be there some onion as well then i'm using these banga spices i got from an old lady in the market she actually blended it herself then for the banga stick i want to ask is it compulsory to put banga stick while making your banga soup of course i'm using some benetite then the native banga fruit okay so we start by seasoning our protein and then boiling it. I'm just adding the karate and the chicken together. I blended some of the habanero pepper with some onion. I added salt and just seasoning cube. Please, please, when you are making your soup, you don't need curry. You don't need uh, thyme. Seasoning cube and salt is perfect for seasoning your protein for your soups, okay? So just add a little water to this and then cover our light to boil. While it's boil, we'll proceed to boiling the banga, of course, after washing it. Please, please do wait to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and please comment, okay? So I proceeded to blend the, the pepper beans I'll be using for the soup, which are some cameron pepper, little habanero pepper, and onion. I'll just blend that and set it aside. Then for the fish, I proceeded to soak in it with hot water soaking your dried fish with hot water helps to soften it and also help to wash it properly so when you are using dried fish stock fish dried stock fish do it to soak it before washing okay it actually helps you to cleanse it properly i checked on the car skin and shaking after about an hour and it has properly cooked also our banga too is properly cooked to know if your banga is properly cooked all you have to do is to check if there is a line on it most time when the banga is properly cooked it tends to have a little line on it then after checking you just know that okay it is cooked i proceeded to pan this i'm using the native method you can use your food processor if you have a good food processor you can use it for this particular panding and the rest it actually does the job properly well it's easier and it is time saving but me i don't have a good fruit processor so i use my mortar and pistol after panding i actually just put it in a pot then that's the pot i'll be using to extract the juice from it i'm also rinsing the mortar and the pistol properly to extract the leftover juice that was there while i was panding nothing must be wasted this particular part is very important even when you are using your food processor make sure you rinse it and don't trail with the water put it back in the banger that you've actually panded okay so i'm using hot water to wash it when you are using hot water to wash your banga fruit it actually gets the juice out seamlessly it is easier when you are using hot water or let me say warm water so this part i noticed the water was too hot and then i added little cold water all you have to do to get the juice out is to take it from down up to make sure the juice everything is extracted from the banga fruit i'll be doing this twice to make sure it is properly properly extracted <music> two times of washing it i notice i've gotten the quantity of soup i want but if you want a larger soup than this quantity this banga that you are seeing here you can still wash it one more time 
to extract the juice but me i'm okay with this particular quantity of soap i proceeded to add in the pepper mix we blended earlier on i'm also adding the crayfish powder at this stage some people will wait till their banga or uh, juice start boiling before adding their crayfish powder and the rest but no me the moment i finish extracting i add my pepper mix i added my uh, crayfish powder i added benetiti which is banga leaf okay so if you want to get this benetiti some people also use a uh, bitter leaf but in this particular recipe i'm not using bitter leaf i'm using just benetiti when you go and buy you just tell those women that okay i want benetiti and they will give it to you so let's wash our fish i will just debone it remove that stick that was using to band it so that's it just debone it remove all the parts that are not needed in the fish you can decide to wash again with cold water which i also did i washed like twice with cold water to after washing twice with cold water that is after removing the steak and bone i just removed that water then wash it twice with cold water please when you are making your banga soup do not cover when you cover it tends to boil over that is it you see the side i was showing you that is it trying to boil over but because i did not cover it it actually stayed in the pot so after it boiled for a period of time and i noticed that the quantity have reduced a bit i added the already cooked uh, chicken and cast skin i also added the fish and the rest of the protein please before you season your soup do where to add your already cooked uh, protein so you don't over season your soup after putting your already cooked Protein. you have to test for seasoning to know if you are still going to add more seasoning or the seasoning you use for the protein is okay okay so please do wait to actually put your protein first before you season your soup this part is very important i just add salt and seasoning cube again like i said you don't need so much seasoning while making your soup salt and seasoning cube is perfect for your soup and you will get a very yummy yummy soup okay now tell me if you give your man this particular soup he will not give you all the money in his bank account <laughs> please do forget to subscribe to so click the notification button because i've promised to drop well detailed recipe every saturday on this page so you will not miss out on any of our recipe please do wait to subscribe okay thank you can you see the oil floating on top remember we did not use the agri banga that actually produced so much oil don't wait to drop your comments below and see you in the next episode bye